It is great to be back in Nashville, Tennessee at Marathon Music Works. Greg Gaston alongside Rick McCracken and our entire V3 crew. And right now we're getting you set for a welterweight division battle. Say hello to Jeff Crenshaw, who's going to be facing Irvin Fearless Jones in a battle of Nashville. Crenshaw from Gravity MMA, Jones from Bonafide MMA. Rick, what do you know about Jeff Crenshaw? His coach, Ed Nutt, cannot say enough about this guy. Crenshaw, very intelligent fighter. He goes in there and takes his time and figures out the actual fight. So look for him to kind of look what Irving Jones is going to do on stand-up and kind of got to think on the fly on what he's going to do and how he's going to approach this fight. And he does a lot of thinking. He's a very cerebral fighter. He's very methodical. Cross trains with Chet Blaylock in Chattanooga. Been there, done that. He's 4-0 and and looking to stay undefeated. Jiu-Jitsu coach is Daniel Taylor. Trains with Kevin Hall and Anthony Lemon. There he is, Jeff Crenshaw. Nice support from the fans here at Marathon Music Works. And again, an all-Nashville battle. So we'll get set to take on Irvin Fearless Jones. There you go, Jeff Crenshaw. Now the music dims, or the lights dim, I should say. The music will change, and some new intro music this time for the man known as Fearless Irvin Jones. Again, Nashville native, bonafide MMA. Trains with well-known Muay Thai coach Chris Beasley at bonafide MMA, but he is coming off a very disappointing loss back in February. Man, Irvin Jones, this guy is a gamer. He comes in and fights anything and anyone. He's been training with Cromwell Stewart, Zach Hicks, which you'll see Zach Hicks later tonight. This guy is great. He's a great stand-up fighter. Look for him to try to work his Muay Thai and look for him to try to put, put it on Jeff Crenshaw. Jones is four and two. The winner makes a huge jump in the V3 170 pound weight division. So a very important fight for both Crenshaw and Irvin Jones. And there you see Jones with our very own Crystal Morrow. Taking his time. Now just about ready to get all lathered up and head inside the cage. You mentioned he's been training with guys like Cromwell Stewart, Zach Hicks to prepare for Crenshaw. Yeah, those are great training partners too. Uh, Crenshaw is gonna give a style just like that. Time for the tail of the tape brought to you by Beast Fighting. Jeff Crenshaw, 26 years of age, tipped the scales officially at 169. As we mentioned, he's from Nashville, and he's six feet tall, freestyle fighter. Irvin Fearless Jones at 25, a couple of pounds heavier, same height at six foot, and a Muay Thai fighter. The Battle of Nashville, Jeff Crenshaw and Irvin Jones. Jones has still not made his way inside the cage, and finally, here comes Fearless. And now let's get the introduction of the two fighters for this welterweight division battle with our very own Michael Kelly. B3 Legion. This bout is brought to you by Beast Fighting. And it's set for three, three minute rounds in the welterweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. He wears the black trunks with the white trim. At six feet even, he weighed in at 169 pounds. A freestyle fighter with an MMA record of four wins and no losses. Representing Gravity MMA and fighting out of Nashville, Tennessee, Jeff Crenshaw. And across the cage, his adversary fighting out of the red corner. He wears the black trunks with the white trim. At six feet even, he weighed in at 171 pounds. A Muay Thai fighter with an MMA record of four wins and two losses. Representing bona fide MMA and fighting out of Nashville, Tennessee, Irvin Fearless Jones. The referee, Jason Wilkerson, will now bring the two together. Final instructions. Hook them up. Let's do this. 
Jason Wilkerson, a man of few words there, Rick McCracken. Awesome. Yeah, he, he gets to the point and gets in there quick. <laughs> Brent Shaw Jones, how do you see it? Oh, man, this is going to be a hard one to call. I think uh, Jones is going to have a great stand-up. But uh, I'll tell you what, those guys at Gravity MMA and Ed Nutt, they can train them up. Round one, here we go. I'm not calling this one. <laughs> Scheduled for three three-minute rounds. All right, Irving on the offense right away. He was, took a knee there, and a good takedown by <laughs> Irving Jones. <laughs> I'll tell you what, Jeff Crenshaw, oh, another oh. slam. <laughs> Nice. He's trying, but I thought he was trying to pick him up for a third time. That was some great action. You know, Jeff Crenshaw pulled guard, and that was probably something you want to do versus Irving Jones. He picked him up, slammed him straight down, and then picked him up again from the ground. Just for good measure. Good, strong first 30 seconds for Fearless. Irving Fearless Jones. His battle in Asheville. A lot of interested fans here in the audience. Not really a, a very solid submission attempt there, and Irving just stands right up and ready to take it to him again. Irving's looking for a takedown, takedown only, it looks like. Oh, and here we go, another slam. That has to take its toll, no doubt about it, probably on both. Well, it's definitely taking its toll, and it's, you know, taking a little bit of energy away from Irving, but right. I'll tell you what, Jeff Crenshaw has now seen that Irving does not want to strike at all. All he wants to do is Get in, take him down, and slam him. And right now, Irving's in a bit of an arm bar, and he doesn't look like he has great submission defense. Well, you, you get what you asked for. You want it on the ground with those slams. You got to do something. You absolutely do. Yeah, Jeff's right. got some pretty good jujitsu skill. Jones able to throw him off. Once again, Jeff is wiring. He is on him. He goes right back for some type of submission move if he can. Now he's back on his feet. I would imagine with a minute to go in the first round that Jones will get another takedown here momentarily. I'll tell you he what, Jeff is pretty good on one leg, it looks like, and he got right out of it. Now he's preventing the takedown, at least momentarily, but he has been taken down a few times. And one more time, although not a lot of... I think Irving's in one. trouble. I think Irving's in trouble. I think he just he's a little tired, and he doesn't have much to combat the skills of Jeff on the ground. Well, again, that's what I mentioned. I mean, you're you're certainly going to tire yourself out with those slams. You might be doing a little damage, and the judges may be loving that, and the fans may be loving that, but you're going to tire yourself out. Under 30 to go in the first round. Great submissions attempt by Crenshaw right there. He puts himself in good position every time. Irving hasn't even had a chance to really throw a good punch sitting up from him. Well, right now he's got he's got his right hand free. I, I'm surprised he's not trying anything. There he goes with his left hand, but there was not much oomph behind that. Seconds to go in the first round. Well, it's really hard to throw punches when he's got his arms around your shoulders. Exactly, but arm uh -oh. Not enough time as the first round ends up, but he did have his right hand free. And again, why are you not throwing punches? So we didn't see any punches while Jones was standing. We didn't see any punches while Jones was on the ground. We saw some mission tries by Crenshaw, but we did see three and a half, basically, takedowns by Crenshaw, by a Jones. So again, you're a former professional fighter. I, you see it differently than a layman like myself. But the judges, aren't they looking at three slams, three and a half takedowns and say, Jones won the round? They are, and I'm also a former collegiate wrestler, and I look at that right there, and I would give the round to Jeff Crenshaw. He was more active, he was working. He did get taken down, but that's where he wanted to go. Right. He dictated the pace on the ground, and he was working. He had three or four good submissions the whole time. So even though it was a lot of flash, you know, Irving Jones with those takedowns, and they scored pretty high, Irving did nothing after he got the takedown. So more flash, I mean, more substance for Splash. Oh, right, right, right. Splash, less substance. <laughs> and we'll see what Jones can do and see if he'll do the same thing in round two. As you said, it plays right into the wheelhouse of Jeff Crenshaw. Round two, here we go. Now Jeff knows that he's only got a takedown, so he's going to come out. There's another another big slam by Jones. And throw whatever he wants. And Crenshaw seems very happy Sometimes to be on the ground. You know, sometimes you're right. Judges get too fixed on those takedowns, 
So Jeff Crenshaw may have to pull off the submission just to win this fight because he's been taken down every single time they stood up. And he's very, I, I mentioned it from the start, he's a very intelligent, cerebral fighter. He's going to look for his spot to strike. Whatever the hold may be here, whatever he's trying to do, it's going to be done very precisely. Jones, in the meantime, finally got his right hand free, but look how good Crenshaw covers up. Crenshaw has great defense. Like I said, though, Crenshaw has to be moving. Has to be moving right in this position. He can't be waiting, and he kind of set up a triangle. <laughs> it's not locked in. He might be able to switch off to the arm bar. Well, right now, Crenshaw throws some punches from the triangle position. I like that. And Jones able to push him oh. off without a problem. I mean, Jones is strong. Absolutely just strong. You can see the strength. He's just overpowering Jeff Crenshaw. Well, he's throwing uh, some, some he's striking now. We didn't see that in the first round. Some kicks, some punches. And again, if Crenshaw's going to sit there like that, I, I'm sorry if I'm a judge. I'm looking the other way. Man, Crenshaw is just... Oh, great oh. kick <laughs> from Crenshaw. Now, if you're a judge, you got to like that. Like, like I said, you know, he's a smart fighter, and he's thinking he looked for an opening right now, and he kind of played possum for a second and let Jones come in. That was like a snake. <laughs> that was like a snake striking. That was a great kick oh, right there. Beautiful, beautiful. Best man. kick of the match so far this fight. Great kick, Jeff. Great kick. Under a minute to go. Jones looks a little winded. We're going to look for Jason to stand this up right here. I don't think he's going to wait long. There's been pretty good action in this fight so far. And this is a very... This is stalemate position right here. Usually Jeff is, is working for something. And I don't really see anything that he can work for right well, now. Jones is, Jones is trying to stand it up again and trying to slam back down. That time he's able to again. Oh, he got kicked. Oh, that was an illegal kick, though. Well, right on top of it was Jason Wilkerson, and he says, fight on. He said, fight on. Uh, it was an accident. Jones is going up, but he stopped from going up. So it's kind of wishy-washy, but he still had his knee on the ground. Gotcha. Approaching 10 seconds to go. Again, Crenshaw very comfortable from the ground. He's waiting for Jones to come in and strike. I don't know if Jones is even going to attempt that here in the final seconds. There's a kick. Go back away. And we will move on to a third round. That time he tried what he did earlier in the round, and that was partially blocked by Jones. So a peculiar fight in some regard. I mean, Crenshaw is just laying on the ground, waiting to, as you said, play a little possum, strike if he can. Jones has had five slams, five takedowns. Man, you, you tell me, Rick. Well, that first round, I was thinking more Crenshaw, but after he kind of played a little bit and he didn't want to get up and didn't want to engage and he wasn't as active as he was in that first round, Jones, those takedowns are glaring now. They are right in the face of everybody, and that's what you're going to remember. That's what the judges are looking at, and that's what the crowd likes. So you're scoring, the judges are scoring, and they're definitely listening to the crowd on that. So right now, it kind of looks like Irving's kind of taken a little bit away from that. You know, Jeff may have a plan. He's a very smart fighter. Right. He may be waiting until that third and final decisive round. But to do you would something. probably look at it right now because you like Crenshaw in the first and Jones in the second, that it's an even fight. Yeah, I call it even right now. The judges who will decide the fate of these fighters Kevin Haynes, Sean McCall, and Jay Davis. Referee Jason Wilkerson. Timekeepers Jim Harmeyer. The ISKA supervisor, Anthony Manus, physician at cage side, Dr. Jeff Kindred, Cut Girls, Crystal Morrow, and round three, here we go in this welterweight division battle, Crenshaw and Jones. Great body kick by Crenshaw. Oh! Woo! Jones, nice leg kick, man. We haven't even seen one of those yet from him. Oh, big slam coming up. Jones again. On the top, after the takedown. If the fight ends like this, and I don't think it will, I think somebody will either get out or Jason will stand this up. But right now, if it ends with Irving Jones on top, it's his fight. Well, here's Crenshaw now, feeling that maybe he has to get a little more offensive. What's he trying for here, Rick? Well, uh, Crenshaw may have his back. If he could stick those hooks in, right now he's trying to get his hooks in kind of pull himself up. He's got to get around that right arm of Jones first. 
Jones is kind of pushing him back down. You can see the strength of Jones. Yeah, Jones has been impressive being able to push him off. Usually, you're in the third round, that's where the strength starts wavering and going away. But I'll tell you what, man, he's got lasting strength. And not much behind those strikes, but if they get through, they score either way. He's got nothing behind those strikes. And he's hipping up on him. He's got good posture, good positioning. He should be raining some punches down. Why do you think he's not got uh, any pop behind him? He might not know exactly how to ground and pound correctly. That's a hard position. And again, we saw a lot of this in the second round. Fred Shaw. Right now, Irving just needs to back away. Just let him get up. Yeah, people are going, and they think, I don't know what they think about French Shaw. That he's not trying, but he is trying. This is just more his style. And look, we, we saw that kick a couple of times. He <laughs> scored the first. But again, I think if... Okay, now Crenshaw says, I'm going to have to do something. I, I think his corner realizes he better do something. And there's another uh, takedown from Jones. It's just, it's, it's over. It's over. And well, that's too many takedowns. Yeah, I, I look, I, I do think Jones has this fight, but he might get himself in trouble because we know how good Crenshaw is here on the ground. So there's plenty of time still, 45 seconds to go. But it's amazing. You, ch you changed your tune from what you saw earlier. Well, overall, like if you add the ground into it, I think Crenshaw's a little bit better of a fighter. But Irving Jones' strength is taking him right out of it. I think he's right. a, Irving Jones is a better athlete and a stronger person or man. But fight-wise, I think Crenshaw just has a little bit more skill, but not always the best fighter wins. And Rick, if you're a judge and you're watching Crenshaw with his hands behind his head on the ground waiting for something to happen, that can't... As a judge, what do you, how do you score that? Uh, well, you're just, you try, what you're doing is you're baiting the fighter, trying to get him to come in. No, I understand game. what they're trying to do, but if nothing else happens and you don't bait him, how can the judges score well, for you? Well, it doesn't you? look good. I don't think so. Time is running down, or winding down, I should say, and I'm not a judge. I've never judged about. I called an awful lot with you, Rick, and my guess would be Jones has won this fight, but I don't know for sure. Uh, that first round, I think, that went to Crenshaw with all the submission attempts that he had, but the second or third round, that is... 100% right on Irving Jones. So you think it's Jones? Or, or yes, on Jones. Crenshaw won that first round with submission attempts. Excuse me on that. And then I think Jones took it in a second and third round. All right, so the judges are scoring it up. Rick's going to make his way inside the cage. He'll speak to our winner, whether it be Jeff Crenshaw or Irvin Fearless Jones. I would think that it's a fairly tough one to judge for Kevin Haynes, Sean McCall, and Jay Davis. Again, I'm not a judge, just a broadcaster. But if I was to judge this one, I would go with Jones. I think when, when it was a situation where he got in a little bit of trouble on the ground, he was able to push himself away from Crenshaw. He had more slams. In fact, there were no slams from Crenshaw. That has to excite. It definitely excites the fans. Does it excite the judges? I think it does. We'll find out as the two Warriors go to the center of the cage, and now Michael Kelly with the decision. Ladies and gentlemen, here in the V3 cage at Marathon Music Works, after three rounds of action, we go to the judges' scorecard for the decision. All three judges scoring this one for your winner by unanimous decision, Urban Fearless Jones! That's yeah, unanimous, so as I thought, Jones won that first round as well. He wins all three. He was the more active fighter. And Irvin Jones improves to 5-2. and two. Crenshaw absorbs his first loss. And now, Irvin Jones standing by with our own Rick McCracken. Irvin Jones dominating win again, man. Great fight. You chose some awesome ground, some great wrestling, man. How do you feel tonight? I feel good, man. I feel good. I work hard even though my coaches are not pleased right now. But they happy, but they're going to kill me tomorrow. So what are they not pleased about? Uh, simple stuff that I went over a thousand times, like uh, hammer fist. You know, I'm sucking wind. I'm not supposed to be sucking wind. I train three times a day. They, they, they finna get on me, man. Well, they better get on you. You look good tonight, man. We enjoyed that. Great slams. Anything else you want to say to the crowd tonight? Man, I want to thank V3 for letting me get on their car. I've been trying to get on V3 for the longest. Plus, I'm a native of Memphis. And uh, I'm just happy that y'all chose me on y'all car, man. Hopefully, I, I do many shows with y'all in the future. Awesome job. Great win tonight. Your champ, your winner, Irvin Jones. And as I said earlier, this was a big fight moving up the ladder of the 170-pound weight class in V3. And it's Irvin Jones who takes that positive step.
We'll take a break. Come back with more exciting action from Marathon Music Works in Nashville. You're watching V3 Fights.